Hey, it's uh, it's a week two of my um, construction of Kingdom Death miniatures. So, um, I've made some progress here. Uh, this is uh, the White Lion. Um, you can see that uh, there's... Uh, I, I pretty much had this guy finished last week, but uh, you can see that... I probably should have turned this book around so I didn't accidentally flip up the cover like I did just now. Uh, you can see that there are lines, uh, especially like right on his face, because his face is constructed of uh, separate parts that are added to it. Um, he's all done. The uh, the four prologue survivors are done. Um, and uh, that, that was the first thing I did, just so that I was able to play. I think I might have screwed up this last one, though. I think, because uh, if you look at her, the lantern is not straight up and down uh, with respect to gravity. Um, if you uh, if you look at her feet, I might have bent her too far forward, so I'm thinking maybe of uh, filing her back and then tilting the figure back a little bit, uh, just so that the lantern is more up, uh, it's vertical with the base. Um, so I've uh, played the game a little bit, so I know how to play it, and uh, it operates pretty well. I've gotten to the point where I needed to construct this guy. This is the Screaming Antelope. Uh, it's basically the second monster you could fight after the White Lion. Uh, there's a slim chance that you could fight the Phoenix before the Screaming Antelope, but I think the Screaming Antelope is 90% is of the time going to be the second monster that you fight. And you can see that it's uh, kind of a horrific looking antelope. I don't know if you can make out the detail, but those little bumps on the ridges of its rib cage are actually hands, like poking out of its skin. Um, and uh, this was kind of a hard miniature to put together because the, the head there is actually composed uh, well, the main body is split in half, and then uh, there's one half of the head and the other half of the head. Uh, the horn, ear, and the ear over here are all separate pieces that had to be glued on. Um, I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, the way that it stands uh, is also how I, I glued it to the base. So I guess it's not... Uh, some people have glued it in different ways. That's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know what the next... Uh, monster is to fight, so the next guy I did was the Butcher. Butcher's got a pretty cool name. Uh, it's also the name of like the first guy in the first Diablo that you fight, uh, I think, so that's kind of why I focused on this guy. Uh, he was actually... He came in a lot of pieces, uh, and he was surprisingly easy to put together. The only problem I had was uh, up here... Sorry, I keep adjusting my camera. His little uh, cape kind of doesn't quite fit onto his pauldron, and uh, I don't know if that's intentional or if maybe I had a bad mold, but uh, uh, it's certainly not very noticeable uh, unless I point it out. Hey, look, it looks off. Um, so those are the guys that I've all finished. Uh, this is uh, the King's Man. Yeah, I think that's what he's called. I haven't glued him to the base yet, but he's pretty much done. Here, I'll bring him around to the light so you can see him a little bit better. He was really hard to put together. It took me about three days just to get all of the pieces to stick. I actually had to take his arm off. I had to redo his head twice uh, because his head comes in three pieces. His left arm here is like separate from the cape. Uh, I thought it would be easy just looking at the pieces, and it wasn't. Uh, so it took it was a little time-consuming. I'm going to glue him next. And I just want to give you an idea of how these uh, guys are assembled. This is the next miniature that I'm putting together. This is the hand, I think. Either he's the hand, and this is the king's man, or this is the king's man, and this is the hand. 
I forget which is which uh, because I haven't fought them yet. Uh, so I don't. The only reference I have is their miniatures, and I haven't constructed this one. But this is basically how they come. Once you cut them free from the the sprues, um, this this is a sprue. Uh, once you cut them free of that, then uh, they're just like an assemblage of little pieces that have a little bit of context. You can tell these some feet, a uh, sword. Uh, the rest of this you can't really tell what it is, but uh, there's a crown in there. There's a head and some pauldrons. I haven't finished uh, clipping all of the, the sprue from it yet. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show that off. Uh, once I finish him, I'm going to start work on the phoenix. And the phoenix uh, is still in these plastic. It's uh, The phoenix actually comes in across three sprues. Um, haven't, haven't taken them out yet, haven't cut them free. I'm a little intimidated by doing this. Uh, I don't know if you you can see all those hands. Those hands all get glued to the phoenix in different ways. Uh, pretty spooky stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, it's coming along. Uh, I got asked uh, with my last video if I plan on painting them, and I do plan on painting them eventually. But I've I've never done uh, I've never assembled resin miniatures before, so it's kind of I'm just uh, doing it one one project at a time. Uh, once I get everything assembled, then uh, then I'll think about buying paints and start doing it. There's still a lot of uh, a lot of pieces in here that need to be put together. Uh, there's a lot of armor kits, uh, basically for the four prologue survivors. There's different uh, kits of, for different armor that you can pick up throughout the course of the game. I should probably separate that from its base until I glue them, paint them and glue them together. Um, but yeah, uh, basically these four survivors all have different miniatures that um, are represented by the, the armor that you can acquire through the, the game. Um, I'm, I'm intimidated to put together the Phoenix, but I'm also worried that it's going to be so big that it won't fit in the box. Yeah, my room is still a mess, sorry. Uh, and uh, that's... Yeah, I don't... Uh, haven't gotten to that point yet, so... But that's what I'm worried about. Um, as soon as I shut this camera off, I'm going to glue him to his base, and then I'm going to get started on that, and... Uh, Next week, I'll probably have a progress report that either shows a finished phoenix or a phoenix in progress. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next week.